what do you think about this correlation of Bitcoin to tech stocks? Like what's going to, what, what is it going to take for that correlation to break? Um, you know, I feel like for a while people had been kind of viewing Bitcoin as a commodity as of lately, it seems like, especially when looking at something like a correlation coefficient, it seems like the market's been viewing uh, Bitcoin as kind of basketing it in with, with tech stocks. So what do you think about macro? Uh, and then what do you think is, is, is it going to take to kind of break that correlation for, with Bitcoin and, and tech stocks? I, I think I'll let plan B talk about the macro because I'm no expert on, on that. Um, on the second one, to break the correlation, I mean, I saw this um, in late 2020 and I even wrote um, a letter on it that we would break it. And um, that's because Bitcoin's got its internal um, adoption curve, right? And, you know, I, I track that relatively closely. It's pinned to my profile. So you can just see the exponential growth in terms of the investment and the new user adoption. And so you get this S curve going exponential. Meanwhile, you've got these um, macro correlation traders that are like whip soaring the price up and down a sideways pattern compared to the S&P and NASDAQ and, and so forth, right? So you, you'll see that um, there's this underlying wall of support, which is from um, new users coming in to buy it. And eventually that will meet. Um, and like some of the models I do tries to track what the, that fundamental valuation is coming in to the market from the new user adoption or actually any adoption because those those correlation traders aren't actually moving on chain they're, they're trading futures instruments you don't see anything moving but if you're a fundamental buy hold investor then you'll move it off to your wallet and you'll see it on chain so you can sort of track that measure it in um like the monetary velocity of bitcoin um, you know, liquid, like the, the metric that you helped with was the supply shock metric. You can start to see all the stuff. And what you see is that as this sort of demand um, pricing of Bitcoin raises and it starts to meet the actual price, when the two hit, it bounces. And then the last time that got forced to a new range was in October to November 2020, which forced a price run from 10,000 to eventually 15, 60,000. Now we're in this, again, this range, um, ranging motion. Again, we're trading this correlation. And again, the growth of Bitcoin internally is, is, is impeding on it. And it's a matter of time before, again, it forces up to the next level. So um, that's what decouples it. And then it finds its correlation again. So